Is that a fucking camera? <laughs> All right, let's get on with it then. I've got shit I have to do, like unclog my toilet and get my wife out of the oven. <laughs> I see you've left a bottle of bourbon for me on the desk here. This is my favorite. <laughs> you should have seen when I was acting with that little bitch, Danielle Harris. <laughs> I used to breathe all over her and hope she'd throw up and the film would be cancelled out. <laughs> Is this a microphone? It better be. It's a little too close to my face, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Should I take it like a rock star and then look in the camera and say, I met him 15 years ago. I was told there was nothing left. <laughs> no reason. No conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death, good or evil, right or wrong. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless, fucked-up face. In the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight years trying to reach him, and another seven trying to keep him locked up. <laughs> Because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply, wait for it now, dramatic pause, uh, evil. <laughs> I think I need another swig of this bourbon if you... Six Baldies, Sheriff! That's what I've seen between here and Ridgemont! A filling station in flames! I'm telling you, Michael Myers is here in this town! He's here to fuck your wife and anybody who gets in his way! <laughs> You're talking about him as if he were a human being. That part of him died yesterday. I watched him sitting in a room, staring at a wall, not seeing the wall, looking past the wall, looking at this night, inhumanly patient. I'm telling you, I've never seen anybody just sit in a chair, staring at a wall, shitting all around them, peeing all around them. We had to feed him french fries and tacos right there. He did nothing but sit there, looking at a wall, staring at the wall, looking at this night, which is physically impossible because because this night hadn't happened yet! Uh, ten years ago, he tried to kill Laurie Strode. Now, he wants Laurie Strode. <laughs> he became an obsession of mine until I realized there was nothing within him. <laughs> Neither conscience nor reason that was even remotely human, if I might add. <laughs> An hour ago, I stood up and fired six shots into him. He just got up and walked away. I'm telling you about the real possibility that he is still out there! In order to appease the gods, the druid priests held fire ritual. Did you know that? Did you know that? Did anybody know that? Prisoners of war, criminals, the insane, animals were all burned alive in baskets, by the way. Baskets with little red bows and chocolates. By observing the way they died, the druids believed they could see omens of the future. <laughs> That's how you got to say it, by the way. Future, not future. Future! Sounds more intense and like you know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I'm telling you 2,000 years later, and we've come no further. <sighs> Sam Hain isn't evil spirits. It isn't ghosts or goblins or witches. That's how you got to say that too, by the way. Witches. You can't say witches. You gotta say witches. <laughs> it's the unconscious mind. We're all afraid of the dark inside ourselves. I think it might be time to go home and take my wife out of the oven. <laughs> all right, well, thank you for allowing me to read some of my more famous quotes. I appreciate it. <laughs> you all suck, by the way.